How does life turn out when a father, despite dedicating his life to his children, finally feel like a failed parent? Today, we'll discuss the comedy drama movie Captain Fantastic. There would be spoilers ahead. The film begins with Ben and his six children are hunting a deer. They arrive at their home with the deer. They then begin their regular routine. And Ben teaches them how to fight with a knife. They burn the fire at night, all of them sit around the fire, and Ben gives books to all of his children. When they finish reading the book, Ben takes a test and asks questions from the book. They then proceed to play musical instruments and dance. One day, when Ben is driving to the city with his oldest son, Bodavan, the rest of his children ask him when their mother would return, as it has been 11 months since she left, and Ben says that is why he is heading to the city. Ben and his son have traveled to the city. When they reach the town, Ben begins his business by selling some of his crafts to the shopkeeper. On the other hand, Bodavan enters a locker and finds letters and magazines inside. These letters are from the world's most prestigious universities, and they are eager to admit Bo, but he hasn't informed Ben yet, so he reads all of them in private. Ben calls his sister Harper and inquiries about his wife, to which Harper responds that Leslie committed herself the night before. Ben is taken aback after hearing this. He returns home, and when all of his children arrive at their respective places at night, he informs them that their mother is no longer in this world, and all of the children cry. Rallion, Ben's younger son, takes up the knife and tries to injure his father, but he is unable to. Rallion believes her mother perished as a result of his father's actions. He then begins slashing a cabinet and screaming. Ben walks out the following day and calls his father-in-law, Jack, to tell him that Leslie had handed him a letter before she died. In which she has clearly stated that she is a Buddhist and that she does not want her body to be buried, but after hearing these words, Jack becomes even more enraged and refuses to fulfill her daughter's request. Mrs. Jack informs Ben that Leslie's funeral will be held in New Mexico in five days. Ben returns home and informs all of his children that they will be unable to attend the burial. Nevertheless, all of Ben's children are exceptionally intelligent, and they are all present. They explain many sorts of fires and different regulations, and how one can stop us from coming to their mother's funeral, but Ben says they won't be there. Ben departs after saying this, but when he wakes up the following morning, he discovers that all of his children are preparing to move to New Mexico, but Ben refuses. After that, Ben takes all of his children mountain climbing, but Rallion is upset, so he falls and hurts his hand, and Ben notices that, along with Rallion, all of his children are dissatisfied. Finally, Ben informs his children that they will be traveling to New Mexico, and they are all ecstatic. All of these folks arrive in a city after a lengthy journey. Then they all go to eat, but the menu card just has pizza, burgers, and cola. Ben claims that this is not just real food, so they begin to leave. Ben walks to the grocery store and pretends to have a heart attack inside. Meanwhile, his children have taken food and fled. Ben surprises everyone with cake, and they celebrate Noam Chomsky's birthday, and Ben gives everyone gifts. Ben's gifts are unusual. He gives weapons to everyone, he gives a bow to bow, he gives knives to the rest of his children, and Ben's gifts are very much liked by the children. Ben and his children arrive at his sister Harper's home. During dinner, Dave discusses Leslie, and Harper's children inquire as to what happened to Leslie. Dave informs his children that Leslie was extremely ill, and that is why she died. Ben, on the other hand, informs Harper's children that Leslie suffered from a mental ailment. Leslie ultimately commits suicide as a result of a sickness called bipolar disorder and hearing this makes Harper extremely unhappy since she does not want such things to be used in front of her children. Ben later apologizes to Harper for what he said before. Harper informs her brother the following day that he must send his children to school for their own welfare. After hearing this, he calls Harper's children and asks them about the Bell of Right, but they are both unable to answer the question. Ben then calls his younger daughter Zaya, who is only 8 years old, and when he asks her about the Bell of Right, she not only answers but also tells him about the object of the Bell of Right. Harper ultimately admits that Ben's children are exceptionally intelligent, and Ben then departs with his children. After a while, these folks arrive in New Mexico, where Leslie is cremated in a church. After a while, Ben arrives here with all his children wearing colorful outfits. Ben ascends the platform and delivers her last desire and testimony, which states that Leslie's desire was that she not be buried, but rather that her ashes be flushed in a toilet at a public place. But after hearing all of this, Jack becomes enraged once more and violently removes Ben from the church. When Jack comes, he informs Ben that the children may attend the burial, but he can't, and they depart with Leslie's body. When Ben tries to return Leslie's corpse to the children, they stop him, stating that they do not want to lose him as they have already lost their mother. He reluctantly agrees, and they did not attend the burial. 
Ralian and Bo Davin are at the basketball court late at night, and Ralian looks very sad. And he tells Bo that he holds his father responsible for his mother's death because he heard them both arguing. And he also heard that their mother wanted to go back from that forest, but dad wanted her to stay in that forest, and Ralian leaves the place after saying this. Bo walks inside the vehicle and comes out with the letters he has received from big universities, which he shows to Ben. Ben becomes enraged and claims that he has been fooling him for a long time. Bo becomes perplexed and claims that he did not lie to him. His mother advised him to attend these universities, and his mother assisted him in preparing for the admission examinations there. Ben remains despondent as he sits here, believing that everything in his life is deteriorating. When Ben discovers that Rallian has fled to his mother's parents, he goes to his father-in-law's home, where his father-in-law informs him that they have now seized custody of Rallian and questions him about Rallian's injured hand. Ben declares that Rallian is his son and that he will take him away from here. When Ben notices his father-in-law calling the police, he departs, but he remains outside with his children and waits for the dark. They prepare for the mission to return to Rallian. Vesper rapidly climbs the roof, but her hand slips on one of the tiles, causing her to tumble to the ground and sustain serious injuries. Ben brings her to the hospital, and the doctor informs him that her kid is alright now, but she had a very serious head injury, and if this damage was even one centimeter below, Ben's daughter would not survive. She would have been disabled or died in the same place, and he asks what the girl was doing on the terrace, according to Ben, who lies and claims she was playing the game. But the accident shocked Ben from inside, and he fears that he is endangering his children's lives since he believes he sent his daughter to the roof, where she fell off. As Rallian did when his hands were injured while climbing, he now does not want to be with him, and Bo also wants to go study at a prestigious university, so Ben now feels that he is not a good parent. So, the following day, he tells all of the children that he believes they should be here, that they should stay here, and that this would be beneficial to them since here they will be protected if they remain, and they will also be able to acquire an education. But Ben's children claim they suffocate here, and everything here seems to be a hoax to us, but Ben says no. He goes on to explain that if they continued with him, their lives would be put in jeopardy on a regular basis. Ben exits the place after saying this. While leaving the city, he sees his father-in-law and tells him that his children like hunting and that he may sometimes take them on a hunt. Jack responds that he will take care of them, and Ben departs. However, he becomes depressed and emotional on the journey. He begins to cry step by step, and it looks like he no longer has anybody in the world. Every second, he is crumbling from the inside. That's why he pulls over and trims his beard in the spot on the way. Then he returns and begins driving his vehicle. On reaching a remote location, he starts a fire and sits beside it, recalling his children getting off the bus. The children have arrived because they were previously concealed inside the bus. They are all in front of their father. Rallian apologizes to his father and claims he doesn't hate him, he simply wanted him to help his mother, and everyone becomes upset as he says this. All of the children express a desire to be with him. The children persuade Ben to fulfill their mother's last wish. The group then proceeds to the cemetery, where they gently begin excavating the hole before removing the coffin. They are burning Leslie's remains in accordance with her wishes. They have been singing the song around since Leslie requested it. When it is burning, all of his children sing all the songs, and they all get emotional. They then gather their ashes and approach the airport by soaking those ashes in the airport toilet. Bo is ready to start at the university, and Ben has agreed to send him to study at a better institution. With tremendous delight, all of his siblings wished him goodbye. We eventually see Ben's home in the midst of the woods again. Where he currently has a large farm, he grows a variety of vegetables and fruits and sells these fruits and vegetables. He makes money from it. He is now able to care for his children in a new manner. He also takes his children to school but continues to educate them at home. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to my channel for future updates. See you on another interesting recap. Bye.